Trail of Coast. So Bus City is down here in the uh, the basement with a bunch of lonesome fellas. On three. Hello, Hello Bus City. <laughs> Hello, Bus City. Are you guys lonesome tonight? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> um, Are you? This is the, yeah. This is the lonesome weekends, and uh, this is where they hang out of a Friday night and prepare some tunes, do some jamming. And uh, you guys are, are getting ready for a uh, CD, CD release uh, April 8th at Artesian on 13th. Yes. Let's talk about that. Chris? <laughs> Chris number one? Uh, or Chris number well, two? Uh, we're going to uh, do a. going to play the album front to back, and then we're going to play some other tunes. It'll be a good time. The Rusty Augers are opening. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Should be a good time for everybody. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a huge age gap, so that'll be. Uh, a lot of fun, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of age, age being relative, of course. <laughs> yeah. um, free food. Uh, drink special. Drink special. Drink specials. No free booze, though. No free booze. Um, not just not, not bad. Right. Next record, you know, and um, I don't know. If uh, this one sells well. <laughs> yeah, the we got the record will be for sale. Looks great. Shirts, we got shirts for sale, and uh, we're trying to get uh, one of those electronic bowls as well. <laughs> Are you serious? Like some prop guy. Uh, you know, well, come to the show and uh, yeah. find out. I'd like to. I'd like to come See to the show. See what kind of bowl we have. Uh, <laughs> mechanical bowl or this? I'd be there with bells on. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, you guys uh, all come from a pretty. Uh, Pretty serious pedigree of various bands, and you bring all that uh, diversity to into play in this particular band. Um, I'm particularly interested in the uh, correlation between the uh, really good desert peyote and uh, Grandma's best Sunday morning pancakes. Uh, <laughs> that, you know, that sort of nexus, you know. Uh, can you expand on that a little? Uh, yeah. If you looked at a keyboard, you know, between the B and the C, it doesn't look like there's a lot of space. But if you delve into that closely. That's kind of the analogy. The answer the is there. I think it's a peony. Not that far apart, really. You know, <laughs> you know, eat your sandwich, drummer boy. Tyler Hammer, the drummer, is having his supper here, I see. So. Mm. Hammer of the gods. Hammer of the gods? Yeah. No, I decided to put it on hold for the time being. <laughs> I'll finish it up when everyone's tuning. That'll give me time to eat another one and a half. So, <laughs> so the name The Lonesome Weekends, uh, it's, uh, it's a dandy name. It, it, it conjures up uh, a lot of you know connotations. Um, are you guys all generally lonesome? or? I don't think so, but I think the, I think everyone has has had lonely Lone, Yeah, <laughs> particularly it seems to I be. I think the songs yeah. come from a place that yeah. it maybe yeah. relates to that theme. But if we yeah. aren't partic you know, I don't consider myself particularly like a sad person or anything. But yeah. The songs that the band sings, they maybe come from a place that's For lonely. Sure. It's also a kind of a throwback, well, an homage to the Charlie Rich album. Exactly. Song, yeah. Song, and that's yeah. kind of a, yeah. the era that yeah. sort of inspired the band. For sure. And weekends tend to sort of exemplify any any sort of aspect of loneliness. It's during the week you're tied up with busy, you know, work or whatever. The weekends can sometimes sometimes be. Well, it's amplified as well. Amplified yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then you get the booze involved. <laughs> yeah. And the, yeah. Yeah. And the amplifiers. Yeah. 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 And there you have the band, really. Yeah. Tell us about the uh, how many tracks on the album. Uh, there's ten tracks on the album. Um, we cut the record in one day, basically. We redid some vocals later, and uh, I don't know. They we were together, I think, um, maybe a month or two when we cut the record. It was kind of done um, on the spur of the moment, kind of by accident, but it turned out really kind of well. So we're we're pretty pretty happy with it. And, it took us a while to get it out there, but now we're putting it out because that was about a year ago that we actually recorded yeah. it. Yeah. How did the band come about? Like, who approached who? 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 Who, who was the core of the band? Like, the Marshall one? approached me about getting these guys together with these guys, kind of, and right. kind of tweaked a few things. But yeah, we thought we'd have a jam and um, and see how it goes, and then. It seemed to go pretty well. Yeah. So 
because yeah. they were already doing songs together yeah, yeah. Um, before before we started jamming. So they kind of had their own thing worked right. out between right. the three of them, yeah. and then we just kind of became the rhythm section. Right. Of course, Devin and uh, and Chris, Chris Slatehome, uh, previously the the Hoolies. You guys, uh, how, how long was that band around for? It seems to me it was just around for a short time. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think we played for <laughs> almost two years, a couple of years. Oh, two years, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And so then when, when the Hoolies kind of disbanded, and then Chris and I were hanging out a lot, and we kind of had the idea to sort of, we both kind of wanted to start like a, some kind of sort of country band. Right, oh, yeah, thanks. And then we got in with Devin, too. Yeah. So the three of us, so this was the summer before last that the three of us were right. were playing along. We all had these songs that were kind of floating around that kind of had this sort of right. folk, country kind yeah. of uh, roots to them. So we had kind of, and then we actually even played a few shows as sort of like an acoustic. Right. So the three of us, and then we wanted to get like a rhythm section, obviously. And we were kind of just, we had a lot of ideas, but um, these guys are like definitely our first choice, I think. We to we want to yeah, they're becoming the go-to uh, Roots rhythm section of Regina. Chris yeah. Hammer, Tyler, and Chris Pripich there. Of course, they are also playing the Lazy MK, right? Now, Marshall, of course, you're in uh, Ra Ra, and you just came off of a, a European tour as well. We won't talk too much about that. It'll be a, in another interview <laughs> about that. But um, So did, did you guys start with original material? or Because I know you do some covers. Like yeah, it's sort of a mix. I'd say yeah. about half and half. At a first, yeah, I think so, and I think it's still pretty much half and half yeah, yeah. originals to cover tunes and shows, right? Yeah, live, and then the record is all original. Records are all original. Yeah, yeah. And we have quite a few uh, cover tunes that we'll do for yeah for our live shows. I was listening to Dorothy today. I think that's a Chris. That's a Chris. That's your tune, Chris. Yeah. Right? Chris Lighton, your tune. Um, it's a very poignant. Kind of very quite lonesome, kind of lonesome vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Struck me as, anyway. Uh, uh, very pr very pretty tune. Yeah, well, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us about that? Uh, Life experiences. Of well, it's not really. It's not that? anything to do with me actually. It's more okay. about uh, yeah. some Dorothy? friends. Well, I don't really know any Dorothy's. <laughs> <laughs> my mom had a friend. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't friend is always yeah. <laughs> Does anyone here know any Dorothy? <laughs> well, my mo uh, my mom had a friend named Dorothy. She would come over and give me presents when I was young. Oh, so maybe yeah. it's something to do with that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. A Dorothy bearing presents. Very good. Uh, but the song is just basically about some friends that went through <coughs> breakups and kind right. of their experiences. And yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Lonesome stuff. Yeah, very lonesome. Yeah, that, lo that lonesome vibe permeating, wafting through, mm -hmm. uh, the lonesome, wafting across the lonesome plains. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, uh, any any plans beyond the April 8th CD release? Uh, do you guys have any grand plans for any extensive out-of-province touring, or is that within the moment? If we can get out of town for a couple of nights, that'll be nice. Sure. <laughs> that's yeah. that's uh, goal number one, I guess. And then yeah. uh, not too shortly after, we're hoping to sneak into the studio again, I guess, and get another another LP under the belt. Hopefully. Right. Yeah. Now, you, you recorded the first CD at, uh, what was the name of the, what, what studio was that again? Uh, Morrison's Soul, 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 okay. Soul Sound or, or RMS Labs. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. That's Orion. That's Orion Studio, right? Orion. No, 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 that's Rob Morrison. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Rob recorded okay. it. Rob Orion mixed Rob it. Recorded it. Just oh, okay. a couple blocks away. Yeah. yeah. Right. So in in the hood. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. The other way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, with being involved in other bands, of course, this was a challenge. Um, you know, we got we got the Lazy MKs, Ra Ra. Um, Steel Cats like Dance. Um, Zerbin. Zer oh, right, right. Yeah, Steve. Steve the Hat uh, was telling me, Chris, about uh, your side project Zer Zerbin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Uh, we yeah. just did a 10 inch. Uh, it's kind right, of right. 10 inch. Can you say uh, it like Steven Tyler? Was? <laughs> a big ten inch. We have done that big ten inch. You get up in the back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> what more can I say? After that? I think Simon Hill. Yeah. 
<laughs> kind of puts it into perspective, I guess. Um, no, again, back to the question, is, you know, it's, it's always a challenge to uh, juggle, you know, you know, commitments with other bands. It's, it's a bit of a crapshoot, uh, you know, particularly in Marshall's case, you know, just coming off this European tour. How does that work for you, Marshall? Just, uh, well, I mean, I think it's... I think it's been fine, really. I mean, it's yeah. kind of a bit frustrating for me sometimes to be away from this band for long periods. Like, you know, I only got back a couple of days ago, and we have these big shows coming up, so I kind of wish I was here for a bit longer yeah. to prepare. Yeah. But uh, I think the way that the band dynamic works, it seems to work kind of well that these guys have actually been able to play shows and stuff like that while I'm gone, too. The band's yeah. not dependent on me at all. It seems to be kind of its own thing too. Well, it's the beauty of having you know a few players, uh, yeah. you know, who can who can pull off pull off uh, the show, you know, and uh, when you're when you're free, of course, you, know, you can come back in and play. But, uh, yeah. So I think it's worked well that way. Yeah. We don't much really feel like a mistress has been taken for granted too often, <laughs> but we do like a to mistress has been taken for granted. We do like to get together with our man. <laughs> we're looking forward to the next month to do that. Just one more good snog and we're all back in happy yeah. places. As <laughs> soon as this interview is over, the it's got nothing to do with love. When <laughs> we get the <laughs> Can you sing it? Sing that again? No, I'm not a singer. No, yeah, I, don't I, don't I, don't I, don't I wouldn't say that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, anything further to add, you guys? Um, Come to the Artesian. It's going to be a wicked great time. Yeah. All right. I think to uh, to add or clarify what Chris said about maybe the age gap, maybe it didn't come out the best way, but it's it's kind of a neat vibe to have you know people in their late teens all the way up to sixty and perhaps seventy year olds at your show and all having a yeah a similar experience. Well, sure. If not necessarily expressing it in the same. Uh, debauched way that we'd like everybody to, but <laughs> we're hoping that they get there in their own way. Yeah. Well, given the style of music that you guys do, it's not surprising yeah. that you have yeah. that age stretch, you know, that type of, that, that type of music. It covers, it covers a wide spectrum. Well, well yeah, I was just going to say, even within our, ourselves, there's, uh, there's uh, two teenagers. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> couple pre forty something pre pubescents and then all the way to the <laughs> Wait, are we talking <laughs> mentally or... <laughs> well, we're all old we're souls. Back. We're all <laughs> old souls in an old basement. Yeah, sure. That's the headline for your. <laughs> <laughs> your Skull Souls your right, would you please? Yeah. Skull Souls right. <laughs> well, sure. Okay, this has been great, guys. Um, we'll uh, sign off uh, with that. Uh, and. Uh, a buzz goodbye to you guys. Thanks, Buzz City. Thank you. <laughs> cool.